and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you along. I'm going to try and use up some stuff that I have in the refrigerator and around the house. Um, I'm using stuff from the freezer, from the pantry, and from the refrigerator, as well as a little Thrive Life product. Um, so I'm going to show you how I put it all together to make essentially a leftover ravioli lasagna. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take a jar. I have a jar of home canned turkey sausage. Um, so we're going to use that as our protein in this dish. So we can go ahead and pop that open. And then we'll get that out of here. I just want to break it up a little, kind of, you know, get it into our bowl so we can mix it up. Actually, it was packed in there pretty tight, so I'm just going to take a little little time to break it up. And we'll get that in there. All right, so in there, once you get it going, you're good. So, get the turkey into the bowl. And then basically what we're going to do is we're just going to make a sauce for it. Um, so what I have is a chicken and cheese ravioli um, that actually came from Sam's Club. Um, comes in a two pack. I opened one pack. I do have the second one on reserve in case I need it, but hopefully we're going to get away with just one. So I got the turkey sausage in here. I'm actually going to grab a spatula so we can use that to mix that up. What I got here is some leftover roasted garlic alfredo sauce. This actually came from Aldi. We like to use this sauce to make pizzas, um, little individual pizzas. So I don't always use a whole jar, so sometimes I'm looking for a way to kind of use up some of that leftover sauce. So this seemed like a really good option for using it because that alfredo will go good with the kind of spicy turkey sausage. Two flavors should combine well together. Go ahead and get that in there. I like to try and get everything out of the jar. I hate to have to leave stuff behind. Um, and then what I want to do is add just a little bit of tomato flavor. So what I'm using is the Thrive Life tomato powder. Um, and it's really just to give it kind of a hint of tomato flavor, um, not to overwhelm it, but so I'm probably using maybe a teaspoon in there. But I don't think it needs much more than that. The sausage already has seasoning in it. The Alfredo sauce already has seasoning in it. So I'm not gonna go really crazy with a whole lot of flavorings. I always like a little extra pepper, so we're gonna put some pepper in there. As far as I'm concerned, I can never really get enough of that. So, and the only thing is, it looks like maybe the sauce is going to be a little tight, so we're going to just use the jar that we have the sauce in. We're going to put a little bit of water in there, shake it up, and use what we got with us. So, we got everything in there now. Scrape this bad boy down here. And we're going to mix this up, see what we come up with. So, again, it's going to be like a, a lasagna, so it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to kind of mix together in the oven. So all we're really trying to do is get that flavor distributed through everything so that it kind of melds together once it's in the oven. Break up all those chunks of sausage because we're going to try and get a couple layers out of this. So, there we got everything mixed together, so we're going to bring our dish over here. And you can spray this before if you want to try and make sure you can see that here. Maybe we'll slide down a little. You can spray it before to ensure that nothing will stick, but I kind of like a little bit of crunchy, so, you know, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So all I do is take a little bit of the sauce mixture as we have it here. We're going to put that 
down in here just to kind of give us a little bit of a base to work with here. And then we're going to go ahead and start them with the raviolis. Again, it's all kind of just a loose interpretation. We're not looking for perfection here. So we just kind of want to fit these in. Looks like I can get a couple more in here. Like that. got kind of a good solid layer of the raviolis there and then my other leftover ingredient so last night we had to go to um didn't have to go but we wanted to go to a get together um that was after um yom kippur services which is the jewish new year and when yom kippur comes to an end we have what's called a break fast um so after a day of fasting um everybody gets together to break the fast and it's typically done with a dairy meal. So one of the things that I brought with us was a cheese ball. And it was just a garden vegetable cheese ball. I mixed cream cheese and goat cheese. Um, a little bit of the tomato powder went in here as well. Uh, carrots, broccoli, uh, red peppers. Um, and it was just all mixed together. A little bit of Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Um, these were all Thrive vegetables, so it all rehydrated right in the dip. But when we were done, we had a little bit left over. Um, and a good way to use it up as, is as one of the cheese layers in the lasagna. So we're just going to kind of scoop this in here a little bit at a time. Kind of dab it in. Keep it simple. Don't want to make yourself crazy. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just kind of trying to make a nice, even layer. Don't want to be overwhelmed by the um, well, cream cheese. Some people love cream cheese. Some people don't like cream cheese. I'm kind of right in the middle. So I like to use it, but sparingly. So we've got that in there of a nice even layer and then we're going to go back to our meat mixture we're going to kind of put a little bit of that in there again again you know this is all to your judgment and this is all going to be based on what you have in your house what's in your fridge what are you trying to use up you could use regular chicken in here if you had leftover chicken you could use ground beef i've used sloppy joe mix in here um, leftover roast beef. It really is a very forgiving recipe. You can add vegetables in here if you have leftover roasted vegetables. Um, there's many ways that you can kind of beef this up. I'm going to add a little extra Italian shredded cheese. I know you should shred your own, but you know, sometimes you just have to go with what's convenient. And I always have some of this on hand in the event that I need to throw together a quick meal, which is the case right now because I got home later than I wanted to and I'm just trying to get dinner together. Um, I did have some canned mushrooms, so I'm gonna put some of those in this layer as well, just to kind of beef up our vegetable intake. So I'm gonna put a few of those in here. I also have some black olives, so we're gonna do the same with that, just kind of a sprinkle in here all right so we got that layer we're just going to kind of give it a little press here and then we're going to go ahead and go in with another layer of the ravioli it looks like i will only need one package so that actually worked out perfectly we'll get this in here that means i get to use the other package for another meal on another night and that just means my budget goes further which is always a good thing so now we got these in here again give it a little squish down we want to try and get everything compacted in there we're going to go ahead back in with our cheese layer here so we'll 
sorry, I'm right-handed, so I'm working against the camera here, but it's the best angle I can come up with for the space. So just put this in here. Like I said, just a little bit. Goes a long way. But we're just gonna spread this out as evenly as we can. Of course, it never cooperates when you want it to. If you all weren't watching me, this would spread out like, you know, nobody's business, but it's the nature of the beast. So, put that in there. We have just a little bit left over, which you can have with some crackers. Yeah, we'll use it up. It won't go to waste. So, now we've got another cheese layer. We're going to use up the rest of our mushrooms here. So we're going to get those sprinkled on here. And just like I said, it's use what you have, use what you like. If you don't like mushrooms, don't use mushrooms. Uh, if you have another favorite that you like in here, I know black olives are controversial. Some people like them, some people don't. My husband will eat them if they're in stuff. Um, but it's never like his go-to, so I kind of have to put it in stuff. We're going to finish off the rest of our meat mixture on top here. Just kind of spread this out. Nice. Final layer here. Excuse me, my nose is itching. Again, just trying to spread it out nice and even. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to do the best with what we got. We're going to go back in and hit the top of this with just a, another thin layer of cheese. Just so that it'll brown up nice and look nice. Because, you know, we do eat with our eyes, so we always want to have the best finished product we can. That's the rule of thumb for this meal. Finish it so that it looks appealing. So we got that in there. And we'll just clean up our edges a little bit here. A little spill here. Okay, got everything in there. I'm going to pop this into a 375 degree oven. And since everything in here is cooked, um, even the ravioli, even though it's frozen, is already pretty much pre-cooked. So you're not really going to have a lot of time in the oven. You're really just looking to heat it through, get those ravioli cooked all the way through. We're probably looking at maybe 30, 35 minutes. Um, we'll check it at that point and see how we're doing. And then I'll bring you back so that we can see the finished product. Okay, so here we are with the finished product. We took it out of the oven about 35 minutes um, I did temp it with the thermometer just to make sure it was hot all the way through I love an instant read thermometer if you don't have one in your kitchen highly recommend it so this is what it looks like when it comes out you can see it's nice and brown on the top so we're gonna cut into this and see how it looks so it should be pretty soft here we're gonna try and get at it with a spatula as I make a bunch of noise. Alright, let's see here. Looks like we got a nice piece here. Lost a couple raviolis. Just tuck those in on the side here. So you can see it's nice and cheesy and creamy on the inside. Everything's kind of melded together, which is what you want out of a lasagna. So, I think, you know, it was a successful makeover, leftover makeover. Um, maybe if I back up here and grab a fork, we could do a little taste test. Let's see what we think. Let's get in here and get a little piece of the ravioli, some olive, mushroom, and we'll see how it is. Mm. 
Yes. Absolutely everything I thought it was going to be. Cheesy, creamy. The cream cheese isn't overwhelming. Just enough to kind of set everything off. That little bit of Italian cheese kind of mellowed it out a little bit. The raviolis are done perfectly. Some mushrooms and black olives in there give it a little extra texture. All in all, this is a winner. Like I said, you can mix this up, change it however you want. It's a good way to use up stuff that's in your refrigerator and not have to throw anything away. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it inspires you to try and use up stuff you have in your refrigerator in different ways. And as always, hope you had a good time.